Hi everyone, we're going to be doing this um, ice cream page, I think an ice cream sundae maybe? I'm not sure. We're going to be using Black Widows. Um, this is from Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford by the way. I'm uh, doing her book a lot at the minute and uh, I keep forgetting to say in my videos which, picture, which book it's from. I'm going to start with a dark brown tarantula coloured um, Huntsman, sorry, coloured pencil. Um, it might sound a bit mad, but this, this is a flake, a chocolate flake. So uh, that's where I'm beginning. So I'm doing a light layer and then I'm thinking about these sort of, the fact that it's got sections. So I'm colouring over those in a bit of a darker colour and then trying to just build up the colour a little bit because we don't want it to look quite dark and chocolatey I just want those bits to just look a little bit darker than the rest a little bit darker on this edge there, that's that, easy peasy now we've got this wafer now I'm going to go for oops, the um the stink bug colour. I think it would be quite a light brown they're usually so I'm not applying a lot of pressure here they're usually quite a light brown colour. I'm not sure what these blobs are these. What do you think they are? I have no idea there. I'm going to leave that there. I could add some texture but I think it's going to make it too dark. They're normally really pale. So we've got four scoops of ice cream. We've got to decide on colours for all of them. I think the one at the bottom we're going to do chocolate because it's at the bottom it's far away from these other browns. So I'm using the tarantula brown for the chocolate and uh, I'm just going to start adding a layer and seeing what happens really. Now Johanna's drawn these sort of swirly patterns on here as if it could be a um, a rippled ice cream but for me that's going to make it a little too complicated with regards to thinking about flavours and colours and things so I'm just going to leave it one colour and I'm going to do it a bit darker at the bottom because there'll be some shadow down here at the bottom and hopefully if we can build the colour up so there's more at the bottom and more at the sides it will look a little bit more spherical rather than just a flat circle so I'm just building up the layers of colour until I'm happy with it there I think that's quite good I like that it looks quite a chocolatey colour I think now we're going to have a strawberry now we have the cyanide pink. Now it can be quite a bright pink colour, but if we take it easy, it can be a little paler and look more like a strawberry. Now we've got this um, sort of drizzle as one on the top of each one. I don't know what to do with that either. So I'm just going to build that colour up a little bit at the bottom, like I did with the chocolate, just to give it a bit of depth hopefully and they're going to put a little bit of extra colour around where the drizzly sauce is as well let's have a look yeah looks a bit squashed this uh, this blob of chocolate ice cream right now what other colours do we have in ice cream we have vanilla I'm going to go for a vanilla by using the lemonade colour. It's quite a yellowy colour, but I think I can pull it off. We'll see. We'll do light, very light. So it looks more creamy than lemony. And a bit more at the bottom. And now it's beginning to look too yellow. But we can, hopefully tone it down with a little bit of the stink bug colour which is what we use for the wafer I'm hoping if we just go in with a layer of this on top we might just be able to make it look a bit more like vanilla 
rather than the bright yellow. Not sure. That's really working. Yeah, yes it is. There we go. Now our last blob of ice cream, what colour would it be? Hmm. What kind of the colours of ice cream? We get mint chalk chip, but mint? Nah. It wouldn't have orange. It wouldn't be orange, it wouldn't be blue. Um I'm wondering about a different shade of pink to make it like raspberry or cherry. isn't it? Or we could just do another blob the same. I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to use the um, plum pudding colour to start with and do a little bit of that. I'm going to keep it light. I want it to look a bit raspberry like I've decided. And although this is called plum, I'm thinking this is actually quite a good raspberry colour. So as long as I don't go too dark, I'm just adding a little bit of an extra layer around that sort of drizzle. Now, I think that's okay. It could be a black cherry, couldn't it? So drizzle, I'm thinking strawberry. Now strawberry drizzle, I think this colour will work best. This is the ladybug and I'm going to do it quite hard and thick and dark because I can add a bit of shine onto it after and I'm going to make them all the same just for ease because I've got a limited palette um, of colours it's hard to think about all the colours could have had a straw a chocolate but then I was stuck as to what else to do so there's that now these little dots on the top I still got no idea Silver? Silver balls? Yeah, let's do that. Sometimes you have silver balls on a pudding. Oh, I've got a sneeze coming, I think. Spider web. So, for a silver ball, go around the outside hard and lighten up towards the centre. And what we'll do, actually, is we'll use our white pen to give us a nice white shine on each of these. Now while we've got our spiderweb out, we're going to do the um, glassware. So as we usually do, a bit darker at the top and at the bottom and then lighten it up towards the edge. But we need to put a bit in here because our glass is empty in these bits. Darker each end, white centre, darker here and less towards the middle, darker here it out, darker here and fade it. It's a very simple way of doing it, assuming the light is right in the middle and uh, you can do it that way. Right, time for our white pen. Again we're using our Sakura Jelly Roll number 10 and we're going to remember to add our dots of white on each of our silver balls for some reason it's coming out as a curve I don't know why I obviously need to scribble with my pen but I just left it the same on each for so it's consistent now I want to add a few little dots of on the drizzle and then we need to make the glass look more like a glass by adding a few white lines there we go there all done there's our uh, strawberry uh, no our ice cream sundae so uh, I'm gonna go and tuck into this and uh, I hope you have a lovely day and um, thank you for watching happy colouring